Dr. Leary, how do you evaluate your influence on the increase in the use of hallucinogenic drugs by college students? Well, I want to make it clear that I didn't invent LSD. Uh, God made LSD, the evolutionary process. LSD has been used uh, in its plant form for thousands of years. Uh, nor have I been a uh, pusher or an uh, <laughs> advocate of LSD. I have been in the position of a prophet who's been pointing out to his fellow man that this was going to happen. Seven, six, five years ago, uh, several of us from Harvard went down to Washington. We told the FDA, hey, listen, there's going to be an, an LSD boom. It can't be stopped. It's going to be used. It's uh, going to take over. You better be ready for it. Then uh, I'm in the unfortunate position of Cassandra, who, when uh, the uh, hurricane uh, uh, occurs, is blamed for it. Uh, Far from telling people they should take LSD, my message to young people is, uh, since you're going to take it anyway, uh, be careful when you take it. Take it for the right reasons. Take it in a sense of um, seriousness and take it uh, uh, well prepared. And uh, don't take it unless uh, you know what you're getting into. Well, do your feelings along these lines include other drugs as well as LSD, marijuana, heroin, uh well, uh, there are two types of drugs. There are the down drugs, the narcotic uh, drugs that put you in a stupor, of which heroin, uh, the opiate derivatives, and alcohol are the uh, prime offenders. And of course, the tranquilizers and barbiturates also take you down. Then there is a large uh, armamentarian of up drugs, of up experiences, uh, of which marijuana is the mildest, uh, going through mescaline, peyote, LSD. But I must uh, point out that LSD is already uh, somewhat old hat. There are now uh, currently available in certain American cities uh, and in certain chemical laboratories drugs more powerful, which last longer than LSD. This is just the beginning of a, of a scientific and psychological uh, breakthrough, which can't be stopped by law. Now, don't you feel that it's, uh, it's wrong to encourage the use of these illegal drugs by college students? Uh, this is, uh, in effect, isn't it encouraging the breaking of a law? Well, I never tell anyone what to do with their body, because what we're talking about here is the first and last frontier of freedom, my body. Now, who touches my body, or what touches my body, or what goes into my body? That's the last and first uh, frontier of my, uh, my divinity. And I have to say to Caesar, as every religious spokesman has done for the last few thousand years, Caesar, I render unto you what belongs to you out there, in the highways and the byways and the weapons and the banks. But I reserve my right to do within my own body what uh, feels right to me. There can be no laws about what goes on inside a person's body. And I'm engaged in several court cases right now uh, testing the constitutionality of these laws which tell you what you can put in your body. The marijuana laws are clearly against the Constitution, against the ancient traditions of mankind. The laws against LSD uh, will not stand up. <laughs> what you can do, you can put labels on the package. And we're all in favor of the FDA and the uh, federal government putting labels on the package. If I want to kill myself quickly with uh, cyanide or slowly with cigarettes, fine. Let the government tell me that. Uh, let the government put on the marijuana package uh, the scientific evidence about marijuana. Let the government put on the booze bottle what booze does for you uh, if they want to uh, be concerned with public health. But they cannot pass laws and maintain laws which govern what uh, people are going to do, particularly something pleasant and something regulatory and something educational like LSD. Why, is there, why are 10 million Americans smoking marijuana today? I mean, these are not criminals, they're not dope fiends. As a matter of fact, they come from your best colleges and uh, they're your most effective people. The latest statistic is that 70% of the freshman class at Harvard smoke marijuana. Now, that's my old alma mater, and I don't want to boast, but uh, <laughs> that's a sign of the times. You just can't stop uh, intelligent, thoughtful people from doing something that feels good and right to them. One final question, Dr. Leary. How will you explain, or how do you explain, the rather unconventional attire that you have on at this time? Unconventional? My dear Carl, this is the most orthodox uh, uh, attire that a man can wear. What you're wearing, a tie and that funny suit, is uh, that's a fad. Uh, that's only been around for uh, 20 or 30 years. Uh, I'm wearing the ancient garb of uh, my profession, which is uh, prophet, which is part-time would-be holy man. Uh, I'm the orthodox person. You know, as uh, Alan Watts says, 
There's nothing as far out as a square. <laughs> Just look at the way he acts and dresses. <laughs>